recipe that incorporates the use of your crock pot. All right, thank you, John. Yes, Leslie is back now, and she has a recipe for what she's calling crock pot brown sugar pineapple ham for the holidays. Quite the title. You just listed the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it lives up to the name, though, it right? Is, it is. It's so simple. And you know, I like things, make it easy, yeah. make it ahead, and make it your own, right? Ooh, I like that. That's great. That's, this is so simple. Mm -hmm. One thing that I always do is I always use a crock pot liner. Now this wow. is made for a big one, but it can work in a small one, and that way your cleanup, you just lift everything out, throw it in the trash, you're okay. done. Okay, that's smart, that's okay. cool. Stick that in the crock pot, and now this is half of a recipe because we've okay. got the other half there for you. But it takes three cups of brown sugar, and you'll put part of it in the bottom. All right. And just kind of make a little bit of that in there. You okay. set the ham on top of it, and you can use any kind of ham, but I would use a cured one because they're pre-cooked. Okay. Spiral sliced makes it easier later. Mm -hmm. Set that in there. Put some more of this on top of it. And as much brown sugar as you like, As right? much as you want, because okay. that's going to melt down and make your sauce. Okay. You pour in a can of pineapple tidbits. Cover it up, put it on low. Four to six hours. And that's it. That's it. And so that's easy, too, to make during the, the week when you're busy with the kids. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and since it's on low, now, different crock pots are do different things. I mean, are different temperatures. Mm -hmm. Different sized hams may take a little bit of time. It says four to six hours. If you're using a smaller one like this, I probably would check it. Okay. And then you can always ladle some more of that syrup over the top. Mm -hmm. um, let it go a little bit longer. You can use a big bone-in ham. You can use a boneless ham like this. You can use a spiral cut. You can use any Whatever. kind of ham you want. And it just, it makes it so simple. And while you're cooking your, you know, if this is for right. Christmas or for mm -hmm. a holiday, you've got your green bean casserole mm -hmm. and your squash and your potatoes and warming rolls and everything else in the oven. So this is out of the way. You don't have to worry about it. I always run short on oven space. Right. So this gets the meat out of the way. That That is perfect. Now, I know sometimes there's an issue where the ham could get kind of dry. It can. That's why you want to check it. But that's also why that sugar in there will help mm -hmm. create a glaze. Oh. Now, when I say make it your own, mm -hmm. uh, some people like mustard with theirs. You can mix a little bit of mustard in with your pineapple and pour that over as a glaze, mm. okay. or you could add some soy sauce and make it kind okay. of a teriyaki. Well, let's give this a try real quick. This All is so right. beautiful. I don't want to destroy it, but and Ooh, then it's nice and warm too yet. I have a surprise. Ooh, really? For you and John. Ooh. National Pork Producers Council is having a promotion this month where they are mm -hmm. giving away a ham. It's called wow. Hams Across America. And I would like to give this ham to you, and this is kind of a fancy one. You don't take it out of the foil to bake it. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, well, to find out more about this later. Yes. Uh, thank you for that. What a great Christmas gift. Let me give this a try real quick. Mmm, very tender. Very, yes. It's very good. We will have this recipe right there, and also on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. Back to you, John.